Hi, beautiful. What's going on? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the flat iron correctly to get the sexiest waves possible. That's right, I said it. Don't tell the other hot tools this, but I think the flat iron is my favorite. It's just so versatile. And who doesn't love a verse? Anything, really. This tool with two hot blades on it that go like that on top of each other can do so much and make your hair look incredible with very little effort. But I also know a lot of you girls out there and a lot of people with long hair don't know how to wave their hair. And I know this from firsthand experience because none of my girlfriends know how to do their hair well with a flat iron. And it's sad and I want to help the world. So I'll be showing you how to use the flat iron in three different ways in order to get three different kinds of waves. These things do take practice and a little bit of effort and a little bit of time to perfect. But I promise you, you can do it. It is not that difficult. Just pay attention today and take your time and be patient. And with that all said, let's get to waving, baby. Let's do some waves. My client has arrived. Thank you for coming. What? You're scared? You're gonna be fine. I have tortured some of your other uh, siblings. Not all of them have gotten the best treatments, but you are lucky because all we're doing is ironing your hair today. So you're gonna be just fine, I promise, okay? We're not doing anything crazy today. We're not giving you a new color or a new haircut or experimenting with anything. So you'll be fine. All right, all right, good. Okay. So, in order to achieve today's looks, we're gonna need just a few things. And really, most of these are optional. Uh, we're gonna need a clip, or multiple clips. A flat iron. You do not need the Dyson Corral, but I do love it. The cordless moment is everything. I'll also be using some force field heat shield to protect the hair from heat damage. And to finish everything off, I may use some salty sea salt spray. Those are the items for today. It's pretty simple. I am just going to be sectioning the hair into three different quadrants. That way I can show you guys three different techniques on three different sides of the head. So we're just gonna spray some force field heat shield over everything, just a light misting, and we're gonna brush that through. Mm, smells so good. And I'm gonna put this at 365 degrees. You do not need super high temperatures for this. If you don't have extremely coarse, coily, kinky hair, you do not need like 410 degrees on your hair. Don't do that, you're gonna burn your hair. So we're gonna pick up a section that is about an inch and a half wide. Now watch closely. I'm gonna be doing one myself and then I'll show you guys how to do the other one. So I'm gonna pick up this small section and we're just gonna go for it. Wow, it's so pretty. I know that a lot of people can't do this one for some reason, but we're gonna do it again. I'm not gonna clamp it right now, but I'm gonna show you what to do. So you're gonna clamp it down, turn halfway one way, pull, turn halfway the other way, pull, halfway the other way, pull, halfway the other way, pull. And the trick to making this look really nice and really put together is doing it slowly as well as evenly. If you pull down an inch this way, you have to pull down an inch the other way, okay? Don't be going all fast and and then slow and then fast. You're gonna get a really weird irregular way that's not gonna look cute. So let me show you that again. Turn, pull, turn, pull. Churn, pull, churn, pull, churn, pull, churn, pull. I'm sorry, but that looks delicious. Let's do it again. So make sure your sections are also not too thick and not too wide. This is how thick you want it. It's quite a thin section. This is going to give you even heat distribution and make sure the wave is all uniform and beautiful. Stick it in the root, turn, pull, churn, pull, churn, pull, Turn, pull, turn, pull, turn, pull. Also, while you're pulling, make sure that your iron is sitting completely horizontal to your scalp and to your parting, or else you're gonna get a little bit of curl in there and it's not gonna look the greatest. Wow, look how fun that is. Like, ugh, she looks gorge. And while you're doing this, I want you to literally say in your head or out loud, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, turn, pull, 
turn pull. And when you're using the iron at a low temperature, you aren't gonna get as severe of a wave, which is good because I think when people do this too severely, like the wave is super crimped, I don't think it looks great. So if you are getting extreme amounts of crimp in the hair and it's literally like this, like standing off your head, you're using the iron at too hot of a temperature. Another great little tip with this is at the end, make sure you're always finishing with the end going in. And you can kind of cheat a little bit right at the end. You can quickly pull back before you finish the strand. That way the end goes inward and not outward. Cause when they go outward, it just looks like really bad. Trust me. This is also a great technique to do when you just woke up and your hair is kind of cute, but like not perfectly cute. And you just want a little bit of extra wave and extra something in there to make it really look finished and polished. This can do that. You don't have to do every single strand of your hair. You can just do kind of in between your natural waves and it'll add a really nice finished kind of look to the whole head. And that to me looks fabulous. And you can go on some of the pieces of hair and just refine it a little bit. If you don't like some pieces, just give it a little extra crimp and you'll be good to go. Let's add a little bit of salty sea salt spray to texturize this just a little bit. Ooh, that looks perfect. You can even put the salty in your hand and then just scrunch it in also. <sighs> God, I love that. So that took me all of like three minutes to do. So easy. Seriously, if you just practice this a little bit, you will get the hang of it. Love that wave, probably my favorite, but there's also some other cool waves you need to know about because I love combining different waves all into one head. I think it gives a really beautiful, bohemian, cool vibe when you combine different kinds of waves all on the same head. So I would honestly recommend doing all these different techniques on your one damn head. Next wave, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm excited to show you what's about to go down. So let's spray the protectant on nice and far away. You do not need to come up close and spray it on the hair. This also acts as a little bit of a flexible hold on the hair so that your waves will stay all day, all night and all week if you really want them to. I want you to bear with me, okay? Cause it can get a little complicated. I'm going to feed the hair in, make it into a little C. and make a bunch of C's, you get a really nice, beautiful flat wave. Some of you out there might be thinking, Brad, that looked hard, but we're gonna simplify it. Please don't take too much hair, by the way. This is a very fine, thin section. Please do that. It'll be easier for you in the long run if you take smaller sections. You literally just hold it down, clamp the iron down, and then drag the iron so it creates a C shape. See that? The next one, you're gonna just take it and just move it in the opposite direction and clamp the iron down. And then the next one, you're gonna start pulling it again. This wave also is super pretty because it's a little more natural looking than the rest. If you want that super lived in natural look, I think this is the best one to do. So let me show you again on another section. We're clamping, we're pulling. This is the only one that you're gonna be pulling like this, okay? Then the rest, you literally just fish it in to the bottom of the iron and literally just form a wave with your fingers as it goes through the iron. You are creating this masterpiece by moving your fingers around and creating little C formations back and forth. Let me show you again, because I know y'all might be still confused. Clamp it down, pull, you're pulling, okay? You're pulling the hair into that first C and then the rest of them, you're just fishing little waves into the iron, okay? Exactly how you want them to lay. Clamp, pull. We got this, we got this girl. Come on. Fish those little C's in back and forth, left and right, left and right. All right, cool, cool, cool. Maybe make little shallower ones on the end. Beautiful. <laughs> you can break it up with your fingers at the end. Oh my God. I don't know, dude. Something about waving hair just makes me so happy. See that when you get good at it, you can do it in five seconds, all right? These things are going to take practice. They're not just gonna come in one second or maybe they will.
you're creating the pattern and all the flat iron is doing is just adding the heat to keep it in place, okay? All right, let's finish off the rest. Okay, and so that is the finished wave without anything in it. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salty in there because I love the texture it gives me. I'm actually gonna put it on my hand. This is gonna add a little bit of texture, some more hydration. It has tons of oils in it. Just give it that sexy lived in hair look. I'm obsessed, I'm fully living. That's gonna dry really beautifully in the hair. So here we are, let's compare the first one to the second wave. This looks even more natural. It's a lot flatter as well. This has really no volume to it, whereas this one is definitely a little more three dimensional and it's coming off the head and this one is laying super flat to the head I mean I love both I think the volume this one gives me is amazing the naturalness this one gives me is also just incredibly beautiful and just like that we have made it to the last and final wave this one is definitely the most voluminous the most refined looking one but at the same time a little disheveled looking and natural you'll see in a second what I mean it's a little bit of both if you already know how to curl your hair with a flat iron you're already leaps and bounds. What is that saying? I don't know. Leaps and bounds ahead of everybody else with this one. I don't know. Whatever. What we're gonna do is basically curl the hair halfway and let it go. You'll see. I'm gonna show you this first one. I'm not gonna explain it. And that is that. Do you see how much volume that one has? Ooh! It looks hot. So this one is almost a curl, but it's still a wave. It's a combo of both of them. Now this is different than the first one because in the first one we did it horizontally. We're doing it vertically this time. We're gonna turn the iron halfway, pull down a little bit, and let it go. Right below that first wave, you're gonna do it again, but in the opposite direction. And then again, after that, in the opposite direction. And you're gonna get this really defined, beautiful, almost curled S wave. Let go, churn, let go, churn, and let go. And feel free to go back in after you're done and kind of refine the waves the way you want them to look. That is totally okay. Now, in this next section, I'm gonna show you the same technique, but done a little bit faster and a little bit differently. So you know how we were pulling out, turning halfway, pulling the iron out, turning halfway, pulling the iron out? You don't actually have to pull the iron out. That is a much easier way to do it when you first begin doing this kind of wave, but you can actually just do it all in one sweeping motion like this. So I'm actually just doing the same thing, but I'm not taking the iron off the hair at all. So we're just clamping it down, turning halfway, turn the other way halfway, turn the other way, turning the other way. And I'm just gonna go in there and just even define some of those pieces a little bit more. What I'm doing is just taking the iron and bending the hair a little bit more. We're getting amazing volume with this wave. If you have hair that is more on the finer side and it lacks volume, this is probably gonna be your go-to. Clamp it vertically, turn halfway, take it out if you want to, turn halfway, again. Turn halfway. Oh, yes, baby. That is gorgeous. You look so pretty. Yes. We're almost at the finish line here. These waves take no time at all. It's two seconds to do the entire head. Clamp it down. Turn it backwards halfway. Clamp it down, turn it frontwards halfway. Clamp it down, turn it backwards again, and just alternate. And you see on that one, you can really see that it's giving you almost a curl, but it's not quite there yet. Just gonna brush this top section, and we're ready to finish off this side of the hair. Boom, clamp, boom, turn. Boom, clamp, turn the other way. Boom, that's it. That's a little bit too curled at the ends for me. I don't like that. So I'm just gonna go, doop. That's it, just flatten it out a bit. It's all about using your eye and figuring out what you like and what you don't like and then just correcting it. That's what makes a wave really look beautiful is when you just refine it a little bit at the end. And again, let's hit it with a little bit of salty on the hand. And this salt 
Water is not super drying. I know there's a lot of formulas out there that are very drying and mine is definitely not. It's actually more on the moisturizing side of things. Even if you spray it in your hand and let it sit there, it's not gonna dry your hand out. And already you can see just from this side, there's so much volume. This is like maxed volume. Look at the difference between the first side we did, which is a very similar method to this one, but look at the amount of volume we got there. We could have even added a little bit more lift at the top, but like that, that is gorgeous waves with a ton of texture and volume. When you look from the front, it almost looks curly, but on the side, you can tell it's waved rather than curled. And I love that. And if the ends are a little too stringy for you, you can totally brush through them a bit. I love this side. If you're looking for max volume, max texture, and maximum wave, this technique will really give it to you. Simply stunning and much different from everything else we did. So to wrap it up, these are the three different waves we did. This is what we started with, this beautiful flat defined wave. The second one, even more relaxed, almost straight, but with a little bit of texture, but still gorgeous. And definitely this one will be the flattest one of them all, so chic. And this last one is the most voluminous of them all with even more curl to the wave. So once again, I love to combine more than one of these techniques on the same head. I honestly like to just feel it out, go for it, try different things. If you combine all these techniques on one head, it'll give you an even more lived in natural hair vibe and people will literally think this is your natural uh, wave pattern, which I think is so chic. Uh, otherwise, honestly, pick one of these. They're all so pretty, so you're gonna live no matter what you choose. Those three wave patterns make me want long hair so I can play with it and look that chic. Miss Manny Quinn, you, you outdid yourself today. You really rock that so thank you. If you guys are not already subscribed, if you would like, you can do it right down below. You can also click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you. Feel free to text me. This is my number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. If you guys would like to check out my hair care and my hair color brand, you can totally do that at xmonohair.com. You can find all these colors that are in my hair right now on that website linked below. You can also check out some hair inspiration at xmonohair for hair care and at xmonohair for color. You can follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Tina and she says, hi Brad, I need your help with my hair. I'm a natural brunette and did blonde highlights, but my highlights look yellow and I wanna go full blonde. What can I do? Okay, two things. You need to lighten your hair more, but honestly, if you have very dark, very coarse hair, your hair is probably always going to fall back to that yellow stage. Um, so I recommend not pushing it too far. I actually really like this tone on you. I know you want that platinum blonde look, but I like this better. It's more of a warmer blonde and I think it really complements your skin. So I say stick with this and don't push your hair beyond its limit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.